हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी लुक्ड एट हाउ टू ऑटोमेट इंट्यून रिपोर्ट्स यूजिंग लॉजिक एप्स एंड सेंड देम बाया ई मेल इफ यू मिस दैट वीडियो आई हाईली रिकमेंड चेकिंग इट आउट एंड you can find the link in the description section in today's video we are taking a step further and i will guide you through the process of using logic app to publish the intune report directly to microsoft teams channel we will be using the same intune api from our previous video for this demonstration let's get started with the necessary step so to do this we have to create a microsoft teams channel and add the webhook connector then in second step we have to create a logic app in azure portal in the third step we have to enable the manage identity in the fourth step we have to add the permissions to the manage identity and in the fifth step we have to design the logic app which involves four key steps first we have to set up a recurrence to schedule our logic apps then we have to use http get action to call the intune graph api after that we have to use a pass json action to format the api response and in last we have to utilize the http post action to publish the report in the teams channel before we begin if you are enjoying the content please subscribe for more now let's see how we can implement this so to implement this we have to first create a teams channel and configure the webhook so that we can post the report in that teams channel so to do this we have to go to the teams channel and we have to create a teams channel so i am going to use this general teams channel and then to configure the webhook we have to click on these three dots and then we have to select the connectors so here we have to add the incoming webhook and configure it i already have a incoming webhook configured that's why it's showing as configure and then you have to add it and then you have to provide the name of the webhook so i'm going to provide the intune daily reporting and you can also change the incoming webhook image so i'm going to click on upload image and then i have a image in my download folder and i'm going to select this and then we have to click on create now it's created a url we have to copy this url and we have to save this in notepad file and now click on done now we have successfully created the incoming daily reporting incoming webhook so that we can post the report in this channel now the second step is to create a logic app and to do this we have to go to the azure portal by accessing the portal.azure.com and then we have to search for logic app and then we have to click on add option provide the necessary information like the subscription so i am going to use my free trial subscription and under the resource group you can select the existing resource group or you can create a new resource group for now i am going to create a new resource group called intune reporting we have to provide the logic app name so i am going to provide the intune reporting logic app name and then we have to select the region so i am going to select my region central india and then we have to select the plan as per your requirement so i am going to select the plan consumption basis and under the zone redundancy select the disable option and then click on next and then click on next review and create and then click on create and now we can see that the deployment is completed and logic app is created successfully and then we have to select go to resource and now the second option is to enable the system assign manage identity so to do this we have to go down and under the settings we have to select on manage identity and here under the system assign manage identity we have to switch it on and then save it and then click on yes 
and now the second step is to enable the system assigned manage identity is also completed now the third step is to assign the necessary permission to the system assigned manage identity so to do this we have to copy the name of this logic app and then we have to search for enterprise application and within enterprise application under the application type we have to select the value as manage identity and click apply and now we can see that we have an manage identity with the name Intune reporting logic apps and under this if we go down under the security we have an option called permission here we can see that it's saying that no admin consented permission found for this application so we have to provide the permission because there is no inbuilt way to assign the necessary permission to this enterprise application we have to use the powershell script so i am going to open powershell isc as an administrator and then we have to run a powershell script i already downloaded the powershell script in my download folder and i will provide the link in the description section so we have to select the manage identity add permissions and now in this script we just need to change the name of this application so in my case the application name is intune reporting logic app so i'm going to copy it and then replace it and then this script is going to install the necessary modules like microsoft graph module and then it's going to connect using mg graph with a scope application dot read all and i am going to provide all these permission to this manage identity application but based on your requirement you can modify these permissions and then we have to select all and then click run and now we can see that the script executed successfully and if we check the permission under the permission tab let me refresh this and now we can see that this application have required permissions to access the intune information and now fourth step is to create a logic app flow so to do this we have to open the logic app so i am going to search for logic app and then i am going to open it and under the logic app we have to select the logic app designer under the deployment tools and then the very first step is to configure the recurrence so i am going to click on this recurrence option and here we have to configure the frequency so i am going to configure the recurrence on daily basis but as per your requirement you can select the frequency so i am going to click on days and every one day then we have to add a new step and here we have to search for http so i am going to click on http and then select the http then we have to select the method so in my case method is get and then we have to provide the url and then we have to select the add new parameters and we have to select the authentication and in the authentication type we have to select the manage identity and we can see that the system assigned manager identity is automatically selected and then in the audience we have to provide the graph.microsoft.com url and then we have to save this and then we have to click on run trigger and run and now we can see that both the steps are successfully executed so we have to click on the http and we have to go down here we have to copy the entire body and then save it in the notepad file and then we have to again click on the designer and then we have to add a new step and in this step we have to search for parse json and then we have to select the option parse json and under the content we have to select the body and under the schema we have to select use sample payload to generate the schema and then we have to paste whatever we copied from the previous step and then click on done now it's automatically generated the schema and then we have to click on save 
now we have to add a new step to post the report in the teams channel so we have to click on new step and then again in this step we have to search for http and under the action we have to select the http and this time instead of get method we have to select the post method and under the url we have to provide the url so we already created our team channel url so i'm going to copy this and paste under the url and under the header we have to provide the content type the value should be application slash json and then we have to provide the body so i am going to provide the body and i will provide this body link in the description section so that you can download and use it and then we have to click on save now we have successfully created a logic to post the intune reports on teams channel now we have to test this flow so i am going to click on run and now we can see that all the steps are executed successfully and showing as green so let's see if you are getting a report in the team's channel and now we can see that under the intune reporting channel we can see that the logic app successfully posted the intune reporting so this way you can publish any intune reports on the team's channel using the logic apps so that's all for this video if you have any question or doubt let me know in the comment section and i will try to answer your queries I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.